first game to open the season for Al Golden and the Miami Hurricanes against the Maryland Terrapins. Third and five, and they convert the Terps on the first play of the fourth quarter. David Meggett, the lone running back. Play action pass. A blitz comes from Miami. The pass through the hands of the tight end, Devontae Campbell. Two minutes. It's at the back of the Terrapins. As a squall has moved in to Bird Stadium. Second and ten. O'Brien with time and a receiver. First down. 17 yard. Meggett slices through the defense to the 10 yard line. Reception in the end zone that looked like they were going to get a touchdown. Already ahead 7 to nothing. They got a touchdown pass dropped. Meggett. Looks like he has the first down inside the seven yard line. Well, he plays a smart football game. First and goal. O'Brien throws back left into traffic, and he's lucky to get away with that. Telemac had a shot at an interception, and Furstenberg couldn't catch it in the end zone. Not enough mustard by Danny O'Brien. But Telemac, watch him right in the middle of your screen. See him, number seven back there? He read that thing beautifully and was a factor on the play. The ball did not have enough on it. Telemac, with a half step more, could have had a pick. I would fault the play design, too. I mean, to roll right and throw back across the middle of the field in tight space like that, wow, risky throw. Megan in trouble. And he's collared back at the eight yard line. You can't get, you can't. Have your high-low concepts run as easily down here. They've been running those all night long. Big handoff. O'Brien pursued. Gets away for the moment. He's across the line of scrimmage and pulled out of bounds at the six by McConnor Regis. This one's 23 yards. And from the tough angle. And that one's no good. Didn't hook it enough with that angle. It continues from College Park, Maryland, as we wrap up this first weekend of the college football season with a good one. Maryland and Miami. It's Maryland by two, but they just missed a short field goal. And on first and ten, Stephen Morris found LaRon Bird for Miami. Gain of about nine out to the 29. Maryland has had seven possessions on offense. Six times tonight in those seven possessions, they've driven inside the Miami 11 yard line. That's just 23 points. Lamar Miller, first down, he got belted up the 43 yard line. Well, that's a 14 yard run for Miller and a first down for Miami. A field goal would give the Canes the lead. Really, the only thing that's hurt Miami is themselves when they have been able to just pound the football like they want and protect their quarterback they've moved the football effectively the last series they came the first series they came down and scored the second series they hurt themselves a penalty they've had two turnovers one of them a fumble run in for a score by the Maryland defense Morris short over the middle to LeBron Bird again popped down by Matt Robinson, but not here tonight on second and four Lamar Miller puts his head down comes up a yard short of the first down did get into Maryland territory. Mike James is the tailback now. And he didn't appear to get there. Nope, they're going to mark him short, just barely across the line. So they don't try an off tackle play. Well, they think they have a great offensive line and some powerful backs. Can they get it done? The fullback does. Higgins for the first down maker all night long. That's the third time they've gone to Higgins and the third time that he's delivered. And every time it's been in the interior. Short-handed Miami. On the ropes early in the game. Driving now, trying to take the lead. With under nine minutes to go by the time they snap Sets it. Sets up the second and seven. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. Mike's cousin of Edger and James, former Miami great. Out of the gun, Morse. Bumps it off for Lamar Miller. Out of bounds with a two yard gain. Take it out by third down and four. 
Low snap handled by Morris. Good call. Running room for Miller. First down and much more. Inside the 25 and down to the 24. Chopped down by Dexter McDougal. The drive continues for Miami after a 13-yard run. They came with pressure from the outside. And it was well blocked on the interior. And that's where they took advantage of it. Bear in mind, if it comes down to a field goal for the lead, they have a brand new place kicker. Jake Wyclaw, Jr., has been waiting behind Matt Bosher, one of the best kickers in the country the last few years. Morris is sacked by Andre Miller. Second and 17, nearing seven minutes to go. Morris in the flat, juggled and caught by Chase Ford, but no gain on the play as he got driven back by Cameron Chisholm. Third and 17. Morris given time. Shoots it deep down the field in a double coverage. There's a flag down. The receiver stopped for in the a middle touchdown. Of the Still alive for the Canes and the clock becoming a factor. 6.15 to go. Miller pulled down from behind near the 15-yard line. Miller running room on the corner. Out of bounds with a first down at the four-yard line. To stand up against this long Miami drive. They've had the ball for 12 plays. Second and nine. The Maryland 20-yard line. Miami down by two with five and a half to go. A hard-earned yard for Lamar Miller. That's been the story all night long. Third and eight. Miami's five out of nine. On third down tonight. Morris throws short of the first down. Good battle after the catch by Asante Cleveland, but he's a yard yeah. short. The first of his career for Jake Wyclaw. How about the pressure on him? Out of New Lenox, Illinois. 30 yards from the right hash mark. For the lead with four minutes to go. And it is good. Miami with its third one-point lead of the night. After they had the ball for eight minutes and 25 seconds, the lead on the field goal by Jake Wyclaw, his kickoff run back by Justice Pickett, and he got leveled at the 25-yard line by Eduardo Clements. Can he produce here? All three timeouts, just under four minutes to go. Tried to start with a run up the middle from Justice Ten Pickett. 10-0 advantage early on, and it could have been bigger. They've had the edge in total yardage all night long. O'Brien going deep, has a man, it's caught! Kevin Dorsey taken down at the 22. But at the very least, they're in field goal range to reclaim the lead, and Brandon McGee. First and 10, David Megan back to the line, and that's it. <laughs> O'Brien throwing in a single coverage out of bounds. Well defended by Mike Williams on Quintus McCree. With two and a half to go. They are in field goal range for Nick Ferrara. So O'Brien will want to be careful. He takes it down and runs. And he's short of the first down. 32-yarder. Michael Tart is the holder. Tim Downs a very good snapper for the lead for Maryland. And it is good. He just did hook it inside the left upright. And he's learning to have a short memory. As soon as they get the go-ahead field goal from Ferrara, sheets of rain now coming down as Miami gets the ball back. And they're going into a breeze that is picked up. They had good kickoff returns tonight. They get good field position from Philip Dorsett. Kenny Tate made the tackle. The Maryland lead with 133 to go. First and 10, Miami from the 33. Stephen Morris, after a good fake, throws down the field, almost intercepted by Eric Frank. Danny O'Brien's thrown for 348 for Maryland and up. Second and 10. Two timeouts left for both teams. Low snap handled by Morris. 
Pump fake, throws to Miller, nothing there. Out of well, the sophomore quarterback, Stephen Morris. Four-man rush, handled. Morris, and it is caught for a first down by LaRon Bird out to the Miami 44. The clock will stop to move the chain. 1-12 to go. Nicely protected. He takes his time and nice patience waiting for him to clear. 8 and 15, got 16. Miami needs just a field goal to reclaim the lead. Throw is high, caught by Alan Hearns. It takes him out of bounds. Well, Corey Harris is going to have an awful have a good week of practice if he's going to win back the starting job from Morris, who's played very well tonight. 101 to go. From their own 49, the Hurricanes second and six. Lamar Miller. Boy, that's a tough. One he checks it back under, under a minute to go. Morris hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Oh, he had him too. That was a really well designed play. It was going to be right along the sideline, try to get man coverage, and he had what he wanted, just overthrew him. The pressure affected Morris that time, and a big fourth down. Fourth and four. It's the first game, but when these teams reflect back at the end of the year, this might be one of the biggest plays of the year for both. Let's see how what they anticipate. Last time they anticipated man and they got it. Let's see if they do it again. Morris with time. Intercepted. Cameron Chisholm is going to take it all the way. Touchdown in the ball game for Maryland. He's the veteran of that defense starting his 24th consecutive game for Maryland. Trouble on the snap. And a very costly mistake for Maryland there. And now don't put the ball game in the win column just yet. It's a one possession game, an eight point lead. If they kick the field goal, the game is over almost without question, but not now. A lengthy drive in the final minutes that culminated with a 35 yard touchdown pass for a Miami win. Squib kick. They're trying to go to some trickery. Highsmith threw it across the field. And now the officials are stopping the play. 30 seconds and one timeout. Four man rush. Morris has a huge arm, throws in a triple coverage, incomplete, looking for Tommy Streeter. Another flag, flag down again. Another delay on Miami. Legal substitution, the call. They've had that happen a number of times tonight. And the penalties on offense have hurt them. Back to the 22. 23 seconds to go. Snaps it in very low lately. Morris just did get it to Streeter. For a miracle. Third and eight. No timeouts. Morris throws incomplete. Looking again for Tommy Streeter. Got to say that up. they did. Uh, Coach Drakeford, their defensive coordinator, or Bradford rather, did an outstanding job getting these guys ready and called a good game. Last hope for the Canes on fourth and eight, and the clock running out. Desperation heave, and it is intercepted by Kenny Tate, and that's the ball game. Randy Edsel, a winner. In his debut, in his dream job as head coach at the University of Maryland.